two testimonies to give. One is, um, well, I used to go to this church before, and then this was about two years ago. And then I say, okay, I kind of run messy for, as a Christian, I run messy. So I say, I take a break from church, get myself together, then I'll go back to church. And one month passed, two months passed, one year passed, two years passed, and I keep getting, my life just keep getting messier and messier. And I say, okay, like, I just stop going to church. I was like, okay, I'm not going to church. I want to fix it first, and then I will go to church. And I just couldn't get my life together. I just couldn't get things. I couldn't get a grip on my life, basically. I was kind of going out of control. And, but God was convicting me about not going to church. My mother spoke to me about it. So I said, okay, I will I'll start going to any random church. But then God spoke to me about it. And I was like, okay, it's not a big deal. And I could watch the online sermons and whatnot. Yeah, and then, the funny thing is, a sermon from this church pop up on my YouTube feed. And the prof was talking about neglecting the gathering of the fellow. The gathering of the saints and fellowshipping. And I say, okay, around that same time, I started to get a lot of pressure on my job and end up taking two months vacation. That is when I end up coming here. Because I say I start in a business and whatnot, and I was finishing up my master's and I was studying to, if it's a one, to a PhD or not. And when I came here, I came here for a word. I came once, twice, three times, I get a word. I was like, okay, I went if I should go somewhere else, but I don't really trust my way else. So I say I come in here. And if I'll just keep coming until I get a word. And it turns out that I end up getting deliverance, or life that was originally came for initially. And Prof ended up giving me a word to cemetery Psalms 38, which was shocking to me because it had something to do with the wrath of God, Kendall, and repentance, and iniquity, and all this stuff. Like, I know I was bad, but I didn't know I was that bad. <laughs> but, um, uh, so it was sh a shocking to me. He told me, go out and give me the rest of your career. And then I, when I open the verse and read it, it was just off what I wanted to hear. And he said, read the verse and keep studying that verse. And God will bring peace to your, your career and your re relationships, family, all this kind of stuff. And uh, well, I went through uh, the first process. And God said, working on me. And uh, it so happened that when I went back out to work from vacation, which was two weeks ago, no, last week, I had requested to move from my department, and other people requested yes to move from the department, because nobody could have worked with the boss. And when I went, I spent an hour within the department, and the same woman gave me a report to HR. And I report to the HR, and, Go with your Jesus. and the other part of this is, they owe him a year and a half acting money. And the person on the desk wasn't doing the work. So everybody in our resident ministry. So the person say, you're getting this schedule, you're responsible for working on people acting in the ministry. So basically, I can work on more acting and arrange to pay myself. Amen, somebody. Give it to Jesus. Amen. Give it to Jesus. 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 Give Many people come for confirmation of their life, of what they have already made up their mind and their heart to do. They come stating they want to hear from God, but really what they want is a confirmation and what they're doing is right, how they're living is right, what they're saying is right. Ain't that somebody? Ain't that somebody? But God would not change His word for anybody or for any man. He would not confirm your life. The Bible says He will confirm His word. Amen, somebody. And that's what God did in her life. Amen, somebody. She wanted a word about her, her career, about this, about that. But God gave her a word about fixing her life. Was the Bible said before you can consider God, consider your ways. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Some people think that they, before they can come, they get baptized or to, or to come to a place of worship. They got a Fix your life, amen. The, the more you think that way, amen, is the more messed up you get. But if you come and you realize that you cannot fix anything, but you need the greatest fixer, the greatest problem solver, the greatest physician that you need here, amen, somebody. Hallelujah! That's what man needs to understand. That we need it. You cannot fix anything on your own. David said, All of my help 
coming from the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.